Hello, I was looking through some old screenshots the other day and I saw uh, a bunch of screenshots I'd taken at Guardian sites. They're all nice and dusty, so I decided to do some little, just A5 little chalk drawings of them. And uh, these pictures are all of Guardian structures. Basically, the uh, Guardians are an alien race in the game, one of the two alien races we know about. So the, the Guardians are the humanoid ones and the uh, truly alien ones are the Tharboids. In the game they released uh, missions to uh, help find out and decode the ruins when they were found. They're all dead, pretty much certain of that. There's been speculation they might not be, but the story as it was revealed, as people decoded the, the ruin sites, uh, it pretty much says, yeah, that civil war and then obviously weaponized sentient robots says, oh, you've always got to watch out for the weaponized sentient robots. Yes, they, they developed this AI and that was pretty much what divided society, but the traditionalists, these ancestor worshipping types, and then you've got the progressive type. They got a bit annoyed with each other and it, it was all a bit unfortunate really for them because they, their civilization had grown up on land that had been previously ceded by, by the Thargoid. Thargoids rocked up at one point and found all these guardians scattered across their barnacles and, and started, started shooting at them. So they developed all this kit to defeat the Thargoids and they'd been successful, which is, which is what makes it so sad that then they ended up um, nuking themselves into oblivion. So, um, yeah, the Guardian sites, they've got this misty quality to them. They've got that lovely dusty mist as though you're, you're seeing the aftermath of an ancient conflict, which, which you are. But also they've got um, amazing sort of faux Aztec quality structures rising into the air like bridges and towers. You almost think that maybe they were living underground and these are the visible surface elements of, of their site or the bits left and these really complex surfaces that you've got with, with the, the markings on all these rhombuses and triangles and, and you've got obelisks rising from the ground and in, in patterns and rows and ranks with different strange symbols on the fronts that glow. They glow in this kind of teal, shiny green turquoise colour, blue green turquoise colour. That, um, that's the only colour in this whole place, really. You've got these dusky kind of fawn colours and the soil colour and then potentially a nebula above. But then, then your actual overriding bright colour is this, is this amazing piercing blue with its electric arcing bits. And, it, and it's, it's gorgeous. Playing the game and interacting with these Guardian sites, you, you you trundle your SRV around the locations and there's various different bits of ancient relic hanging around and they've all got different names and you can either shoot it out of um, bits of the scenery or you can find it just lying on the floor. One of those items is actually called a relic and you've got tablets and orbs and totems and caskets and urns and things and and there's all bits and bobs lying around and in the more advanced guardian structures there's uh, active pylons that you can operate by uh, firing laser weapons at them and that and that charges them up and then they'll go spang and then things will happen and it's it's a fabulous little thing to do when you're uh, actually on site in these places it's a bit of a trek to get out there half of about a thousand light years away from the bubble but it's worth it. It's the gorgeous sites and often you can get some amazing sites with the obelisks or structures backlit by some dark red brown dwarf star pumping out its dying light low in the sky and it's just it's just really evocative. So looking at the future, you've got people collecting Guardian stuff as part of a community goal and they're trying to create this new anti-Zeno technology to sort of fight the Fargoids for ourselves and we've been using what we've learned from the Guardians to fight the Thargoids ourselves because obviously they were successful repelling the Thargoids from their territory, albeit in ancient history. Thargoids still don't like any any sniff of Guardian stuff. If you go into any sort of Thargoid structure, say one of their map room caves, and you happen to have a piece of Guardian technology on you or near you, they go absolutely nuts. They don't like it. I'm assuming that they are developing new stuff for us all to have fun with in the autumn. That'd be quite interesting to see what new fancy turquoise weapons come our way, maybe used on foot. I could go for a specially tool teal dominator suit. I can imagine that working with me, me special laser arc ray weapon, which goes spang. <laughs>